Today, I want to show you seven quick ways to make Windows 11 even better. Windows 11 has been out for a few months now, and overall it's pretty solid. But just like with a performance review at work, there are always things that you can do better. We'll look at how you can change your desktop background image every single day automatically, how you can send text messages and make phone calls directly from your PC, how you can pin websites to your taskbar for quicker access. These are just a few of the examples that we'll look at. All right, let's check these out. First, we're going to look at how you can change your desktop background picture, because this is the first thing that you'll see when you log into Windows every single day. Right click on your desktop and select Personalize. Within the settings screen, at the very top, let's click on the option that says Background. Here we have three different options. You can just set an individual picture to be your background. And down at the bottom, you can set how you want it to fit. You can also select a solid color as your background. So if you don't get any joy from looking at photos, this may be a good option for you. Or maybe you just care about the performance of having a solid color. Lastly, you can also set up a slideshow of photos. So here you can select the folder that the photos are in. You can also choose how often you want it to switch photos, and you can even set it to shuffle your photos. So this way, when your kids go off to school, you won't miss them that much because you'll be served with a steady stream of photos of your kids. As much as you love your kids, you might just prefer to look at something else. Back within the main personalization screen, there's another option titled Themes. If we click into that, you can set a theme, and that in turn also changes your background image. You'll see a few beautiful themes that come directly with Windows 11, but there aren't that many. Luckily, if we look down just a little bit, there's the option to get even more themes from the Microsoft Store. When I click into the Microsoft Store, here you'll see many, many different beautiful themes that you can install. Now, this reminds me, the photos that I see here are far better than what I could personally take, but that didn't stop me from pulling together a video on how you can take better photos. If you want to check that out, you can click on the link up above or down below in the description. If all of this sounds like just too much work, you can also leave the heavy lifting to Microsoft. Microsoft offers something called the Bing Image of the Day, and this will automatically refresh your background image every single day with a beautiful image. Head to the website up above or down below in the description. Once you land on the homepage, simply click on Install Now. During the installation process, there's a checkbox that asks you if you want to change your homepage to MSN. If you don't want MSN to be your homepage, simply uncheck that box. Once you finish installing, you'll have to restart your computer. Once you restart, you'll see a new beautiful image as your background. Down in the bottom right hand corner in your system tray, you'll also see an icon for the Bing image of the day. If you right click on this, you'll have a few different settings. Next up, you can also personalize what your lock screen experience looks like. Here too, on your desktop, right click and then select Personalize. Within this screen, select the option that says Lock Screen. Here, you can choose to show a picture. You can also show a slideshow. And there's also an option for Windows Spotlight. Spotlight is very similar to the Bing image of the day. Here, every single day, you'll get a new beautiful image on your lock screen. Down below, you can also show additional information on your lock screen. You can show the weather your email, or even the next calendar appointment coming up. I'll select calendar. Here now on my lock screen, I can see that my next meeting is for a cookie tasting session. That sounds really yummy. With this next one, are you tired of always having to type in a password to log into Windows? Instead, you can use your face. To use this, open up settings, then click on accounts, and then sign in options. At the very top, there's the option to use facial recognition, or what's also known as Windows Hello. This'll use your face to sign into Windows. 
You can also toggle it on so it automatically dismisses the lock screen when it recognizes you. The next one is also in sign-in options, and this one is called Dynamic Lock. With this one, you pair your phone to your PC. So when you walk away from your PC, it'll automatically lock it. If you combine this with the facial recognition to sign you in, now you no longer have to sign into your computer or sign out of your computer. Your computer does all of this for you. So let's actually test this out. I'm going to walk away and let's see if it automatically locks my PC. Windows 11 has even more tricks related to pairing your phone with your PC. And this one is an app called Your Phone. If you go down to search on the taskbar, you can search for your phone and then launch it. If this is the first time using the app, well, first you'll have to pair your phone to your PC. Once you pair your phone, you'll see an interface that looks like this. You'll be able to see all of the notifications from your phone. You can send and receive text messages. You can view all of your photos. You can even make and receive phone calls and you can view all of your contacts. Now, if you have an iPhone, unfortunately, it does not work with your phone. But don't worry, there's another app that you can use, and I've previously done a video on this. You can find it up above or down below in the description, and that'll show you how you can get similar functionality for an iPhone. When we all use our PC, we end up spending most of our time browsing the web. The Windows taskbar is primarily designed to help us launch apps on our computer, but wouldn't it be nice if you could also launch websites directly from your taskbar? It turns out that it is possible, but it just requires a few steps. Here I am in Google Chrome, and I'm currently on my favorite website, kevinstratford.com. If you want to follow along with pinning this to your taskbar, feel free to. In the top right-hand corner, click on the ellipsis, then click on More Tools, and here I can create a shortcut. When I click on this, I'll click on OK. I now have a shortcut on my desktop. I mean, that's nice, but I want to get it onto my taskbar. Here, I'll right-click on the shortcut on my desktop, then I'll go down to More Options, and here, finally, I see the option to pin it to my taskbar. When I click on that, you'll now see a friendly face just one click away on your taskbar. Microsoft Edge makes this even easier. Within Microsoft Edge, head to your favorite website once again, and I think I know which website you're going to. Here too, click on the ellipsis in the top right hand corner, go down to more tools, and here you'll see the option to pin to your taskbar. So you can just get it straight from the more tools menu. Windows 11 includes the snipping tool. If you haven't heard of that, it allows you to take screenshots of an area or the entire desktop screen. It's a really nice tool. To launch it, you could go down to search and you could type in snipping tool or you could use the shortcut key Windows, Shift, and S, but that shortcut key is truly a handful. There's another shortcut key, Print Screen, and most keyboards have a dedicated key for this. When you press Print Screen, it'll simply take a screenshot of your entire desktop. Now, wouldn't it be nice if you could tie this to the snipping tool? I mean, the snipping tool offers more functionality than just printing your entire screen. Well, luckily you could turn this on. Within Settings, on the left-hand side, click on Accessibility. Then click on Keyboards, and right here we have the option to set it so the Print Screen key launches the snipping tool. Here when I turn it on, I'll now press Print Screen, and here I now have access to the snipping tool. All right, well those are a few quick ways to make Windows 11 even better. If you have any other tips, feel free to share them down below in the comments. To watch more videos like this, please consider subscribing. I'll see you next time.